want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, as a beginner how can I be good in trading stocks? Answer by Thomas Sundstrom. Consider the following steps. First steps. Have enough money to begin investing. Consider reviewing at least some of the major tenets of personal finance, such as a multiple month living expense safety net, rainy day fund, and paying off high interest debt. E. G. Credit cards. Before beginning investing, go to MoneyChim. HTTP. Slash slash www. MoneyChim.com slash and Senzu HTTPS slash slash Senzu IO slash and Smart About Money HTTPS slash slash www Smart About Money org slash for introductions overview and basics of personal finance at how begin to set aside a sufficient amount of money to open a brokerage account discussed below note that most brokers require a minimum opening deposit. Consider $1,000 or more as a minimum amount to do so. Lesser amounts, e.g., $100, $500, are insufficient to invest effectively. The entire initial amount need not necessarily be invested all at once or in one stock. Rather it allows diversity in stocks, both in types of companies and timing of purchasing stocks. To consider investing as a lifelong learning experience. Consider investing only the money you can afford to lose. Risking money set aside for other obligations, such as but not limited to safety net and college funds, is not recommended. Consider investing in stocks as part of an overall strategy that may include participation in employee retirement plans, payroll savings plans and IRAs. There may be tax advantages to be had. Your employer's human resources department should be a likely first resource. If investing for retirement, consider using an individual retirement account. I. R. A. As part of your strategy, aging income, present and future expectations, and restrictions on early withdrawal may factor into your decision. Your broker, discussed below, should help sort out your options. As you study the how-to, be aware of and recognize there are differences in philosophies and approaches to investing, longer time periods, versus trading, shorter time periods. Definitions may vary, and the writer's choice of adjectives may be confusing. Be aware of and recognize that stocks are just one type of investment product. Other product types include but are not limited to electronic traded funds, ETFs, index funds, mutual funds and bonds. You may choose to include such products in your holdings. I use the term stocks generically, where applicable, to apply to all investment products in the discussion below. Be aware that trading stocks as a novice is most likely a recipe for disaster. Day trading is not recommended. The literature is replete with evidence that the vast majority of those new to the market quickly lose significant amounts of money. This piece, https slash slash www.cora.com slash why are so, illustrates the point. Do take the time to read and study, discuss below, first and reserve the exploration of day and short term and options trading for later. I have no opinion of Forex or cryptocurrency trading. If that is what you seek, I would refer you to the Wiley and Dummies books, discussed below, before wandering off into the myriad of websites discussing same. Get a grounding, and read out those that would relieve you of your funds, and an aside. One sees numerous posts asking such variants of questions on doubling an investment in a short period of time, how to turn a small four-figure investment into a million dollars, a list of guaranteed no-risk stocks, the best stocks to buy now for the next some number of years, what is the easiest way to make money and other unreasonably outlandish ideas. In my opinion these all are just noise. While there is nothing wrong about asking questions. Generally my impression is that the writer hasn't attempted even a modicum of research on the internet or in a bookstore or a library. As you begin your own journey, I suggest you do not be distracted by such outlandish postings. Second steps, go to, and bookmark for future reference, Investopedia, http, slash slash www, Investopedia, com slash, for introductions, terms, references, dictionary, and encyclopedia. It has a Wikipedia-like format. Consider taking an introductory course or two at an adult evening school or a two-fourths year college. Read a few introductory quick read how to investing books published by Wiley. HTTP slash slash Wiley Finance com slash including there for dummies. HTTP slash slash www 
Dummies com slash series found in most larger bookstores where one can browse and look at the author's writing style and online well indexed these books also serve as a reference i prefer print books in hand compared to ebooks but that's me consider reading over time as you continue with the steps below at least some of the numerous books mentioned in similar question and answer q and a postings here you search atop the page to find those q and a postings can't make up your mind on what books to read? Start with a non-inclusive list of recommended books on investment philosophies and concepts at the end of this post. Visit your local library. Some libraries have online loans using software slash apps like Overdrive. Use search engines, Google, Yahoo, et al. Have a question? Try typing the complete question into the search dialog box. The Google algorithms that parse a sentence or phrase as a search query are quite amazing. Don't give up. If these first two steps absolutely won't work for you, see safety valves below. Third steps. Visit at least some of these top 15 business websites. HTTP slash slash www.ibismba.com slash articles slash and read. My favorites for business news, Bloomberg, CNBC, MarketWatch, and Reuters Business, not included on the website. Watch Bloomberg, CNBC and Fox Business on cable TV or listen to them on Sirius. XM Radio. Bloomberg also has a domestic radio network that is also streamed on the internet. As an aside, my favorite TV show is CNBC's Fast Money airing at 5 p.m. Eastern weekdays. The traders provide insight as to why the markets move that day, and much more. I DVR the show to ensure I don't miss it. The show also streams on the CNBC mobile app, and has video clips on its webpage, and airs on Pluto TV, HTTP, slash slash Pluto. TV, later in the evening, if outside the USA, use a VPN. CNBC and Pluto TV are on Roku, HTTPS, slash slash www. Roku. Com slash, as well. Consider signing up for Seeking Alpha, SA, HTTP, slash slash Seeking Alpha. Com slash, and Stock. Twits, HTTPS, slash slash Stock Twits. Com slash, to track stocks of interest to you. These websites slash mobile apps are alive with news, comments at how. Apply your common sense filter to all material read. I find the news releases posted by SA editors to be especially useful. One way to gauge a SA author's credibility is to research them on LinkedIn. No guarantees but perhaps some insight. To prevent information overload, optionally enter the stock tickers of the companies you wish to follow. Consider using a Twitter, HTTPS, slash slash Twitter slash account to follow investing news and reports from at least some third-party websites rather than clutter your email inbox. The link will take one directly to the story or report. Use Investopedia as a reference and dictionary to look up terms and vocabulary not understood. Consider joining an investment discussion bulletin board such as, but not limited to, the Bull Market Board, HTTPS, slash slash www, Bull Market Board slash and participate consider joining an investment live discussion chat room such as but not limited to hashtag investing https slash slash www hashtag investing com slash and participate fourth steps chose a broker there are a number of websites exemplified by http slash slash www stockbrokers com that review brokerage firms but consider the timeliness and bias in reading reviews competition among brokers results in brokerage website and mobile app features changing rapidly as do services and fees rather than accept such writings at face value consider using such reviews and articles to formulate your questions to be asked when investigating opening an account the cheapest or online only broker isn't necessarily the best choice especially for one starting out for a number of reasons including face-to-face -face service and help with forms, applications and other documents requiring signatures, consider a broker that has a brick-and-mortar storefront, e.g., in the USA, Fidelity, Schwab, TD Ameritrade, etc., near you. Or consider visiting the broker's office to talk with the representative to talk about their services and website. Discussion items may include the features and usability of the website from both the perspective of a beginner and an advanced user, trading, fees, research and analyst reports, education, training, banking services, IRAs and the like. Are you made to feel comfortable in the office? If not, 
move on to a different brokerage firm. Consider thoroughly exploring the broker's website, with special attention to the research section, including its stock screener, analyst reports and news coverage, to take full advantage of all the information within. The consistency of the presentation within the broker's website should be less confusing, facilitating comparing information across companies, than navigating the differing formats of the myriad of third-party websites. To take full advantage of the training material, seminars, webinars and discussion forum offered by the broker of your choosing. Some offices have seminars on site, other brokers offer webinars online, and some firms have both. Recognize that one only requires the broker's website or mobile, Android slash I, OS, app to buy and sell. Other third-party websites and mobile apps only may provide news and prices of interest. If using a mobile device on a public Wi-Fi network to access your brokerage account, recognize your account login information and security is at risk. Turn off the device's Wi-Fi. Find use the cellular telephone network instead. Have trouble finding an office in your area? Use Google Maps and search for stock brokers or similar phrases. If that does not help, as telephone books are almost extinct, ask the manager of your local bank, Better Business Bureau, or Chamber of Commerce for references. Fifth Steps Consider putting as much additional money as you can afford into your brokerage account to buy more shares. Note that doing so does not necessarily mean one should immediately purchase shares. Opportunities may take time to evolve. Consider your risk tolerance when doing due diligence on choosing a stock, ETF or other investment product. Are you interested in or own shares in a company? Go to the investor relations and or press relations pages of the corporate website and sign up for the email notifications of interest to you. You should be among the first to receive notices of SEC filings product and services announcements, earnings and dividends. Recognize the basic differences between fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Both methods are useful in doing your due diligence. One method to the exclusion of the other is not necessarily the right course of action. Investing for the long term? Consider dollar cost averaging and automatic dividend reinvestment. The compounding quickly adds up. Assuming all continues to be well with your choices, don't necessarily be in a hurry to sell. It is not to say one should not take profits if appropriate, short-term and day trading is at best stressful and may well result in loss of principle. As you gain experience, then begin to explore such trading if you feel comfortable doing so. Consider paying attention to rotations among market sectors, https, slash slash www, mshi, com slash chicks, and perhaps adjust your holdings accordingly if necessary. Be wary of surefire and guaranteed investing strategies or methodologies or top stock picks surfacing on websites and in your email inbox. If it sounds too good to be true, don't waste time with penny stocks. Penny stocks are akin to juggling sharp knives while blindfolded. The road is strewn with pump and dump boulders rolled out by those who would relieve you of your funds. Save your money and invest wisely in stocks of companies with proven track records. Safety valves. Are you confused, frustrated, bored, lack the time, over your head, whatever the reason, or just don't care about or like managing your money, investments, and retirement planning? Find a fee-based, not commission-based, financial advisor using a phone, book, library resources, better business bureau, or references from your bank. Interview for a good fit. Have a fee-based financial plan or lay out a plan that meets your perceived needs and that you can follow with minimal stress and fuss. Recognize that a financial plan should not be static. The plan probably should be reviewed and perhaps changed or updated as one ages and significant life events, e.g., career changes, marital status, dependents, real property acquisition, occur. Should you also choose to hire an investment advisor, choose a registered investment advisor with a Series 66 license, a person who has passed an exam by North American Securities Administrators Association, NASA, designed to qualify candidates as both securities agents and investment advisor representatives, working in a managed platform that charges a nominal annual 1%, or not much more, commission as opposed to commissions. Confused about types of financial specialists? FINRA, Financial Industry Regulatory Authority, offers an unbiased explanation, http, slash slash www, FINRA, org slash investors slash c, and resources to help. As you may not pay attention to tax forms, end of year statements, and IRA options, you may want to hire a tax accountant, interview for a good fit, to protect yourself from making mistakes. Be prepared to show the tax accountant the last few years of your federal and state tax returns. 
Be prepared to possibly identify and track unusual business slash work or medical expenses. Footnotes. Consider taking notes, including questions to be asked in a class, for a more chat or more of your broker's customer support, as you advance your knowledge. Paper and pencil works, but across platform, desktop and mobile, software solution may be a better choice. Obviously there are numerous organizer and note-taking products, including a word processor or text head tire, to choose from, and flexibility and breadth of capabilities vary. If you opt to try a few products, a hint, ensure that there is a compatible file import and export capability so that notes can be moved to a different product without rekeying. I prefer and use the cross-platform Evernote, HTTPS, slash slash Evernote, com slash, product for its note-taking, webpage, e. G, articles, email, and photo capture, tagging and so much more, but that's me. There is a limited free version, I opted for the full version that has a small, compared to my investments, annual fee. These notes were assembled and now maintained in Evernote. Suggested readings, not inclusive, not ordered, on philosophy, concepts, strategies at how. The Intelligent Investor by Benjamin Graham with Jason Spike. The only investment guide you'll ever need by Andrew Tobias. The Vogelhead's Guide to Investing by Taylor Laramore, Melon Dower, and Michael La. A Random Walk Down Wall Street by Burton G. Malkiel. What Works on Wall Street by James P. O'Shaughnessy. All About Asset Allocation by Richard A. Ferry. Common Stocks and Uncommon Profits by Philip Fisher. Stocks for the Long Run by Jeremy Siegel. Common Sense on Mutual Funds by John Bogle. Irrational Exuberance by Robert J. Schiller. How Markets Fall by John Cassidy. How to Make Money in Stocks by William J. O'Neill. HTH. YMMB. Answer by A. Tisham Saeed. There are following five schools of thought when it comes to trading stocks. Those who believe stock market is ubiquitous and no amount of analysis can help investors achieve higher than market average returns. Those who believe there may be some opportunity to take advantage of market anomalies. 7 Market Anomalies Investors Should Know Those who believe you can gain above average returns through business performance analysis such as earnings and valuation multiples. Those who believe you can profit from market sentiment of fear and greed, fear and greed index, investor sentiment, money. Further to point 4, there are technicians who use charting techniques and different types of indicators to beat the market. So whether you follow fundamentals, points 2 and 3, or technicians, points 4 and 5, learn, monitor test and practice to develop consistency and profitability. This is in contrast to pure speculation that poses substantial risk. Answer by, Bob Berker. As a beginner, you can't be good in trading stocks. You might get a few lucky guesses at first but the market will separate you from your money if you have no clue. Most people who are new to the investing start off learning about equity markets, stocks, because derivatives markets, options, involve more complicated strategies. The best place to start is the library. Begin with general information books that aren't highly technical. Read everything that you can. Some of them will make sense, some will not. Over time, your knowledge will increase. If you find something of interest, Google it and you can get more depth. There are a bunch of XYZ for dummies written about various investment topics. As you build your basic understanding of financial markets, branch out into more specific books about topics that interest you. Read the financial news. Read Investopedia and other reputable online sites. Eventually, you will understand more and more and you will get an idea of what interests you, options, stocks, mutual funds, etc. Then, focus on those areas. You may have to purchase some of the more detailed comprehensive books, but that's not necessary now. Understanding financial markets is like learning a foreign language. It takes time and effort, something most people don't want to do and as a result of failing to do so, they often lose their money. Financial markets quickly take the money of the inexperienced and uninformed. Last of all, beware of investment advice from anonymous strangers on the internet, especially those directing you to websites for fee-based sign-up, greater than.